Hey everybody, y'all are sure Dan. Today is January 29th, 2022, and yep, we have some snow, as you can see behind me, and you know what? What a great time to go inside and do some cooking. So join me as I take you through how I do a crock pot dinner. Very simple. Hey, I am back in the kitchen here, cold outside, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna cook. It's laid out behind me, and let's go take a look at what we're gonna do. Okay, so here you can see I've got my ingredients. I got one package of ranch salad dressing, four cans of cream of chicken soup. I got two pork chops, a bag of baby carrots, a bag of potatoes, russet potatoes, and some sweet Vidalia onions. Now I'm not gonna use up all those russet potatoes and the onions. I'll probably take a couple of onions, two or three potatoes out, and some of those carrots, but this is what I've got so far. Well, we have my ingredients here. I cut the carrots in half. I cut the onions into four pieces and the potatoes in half. We'll see how the potatoes turn out. They're probably too large, but we'll just test it. I like to do that when I cook and we'll see how it turns out. The rest of them should be good and I will layer them through the crock pot, spread them around. All right, so here we go. First, I'm gonna take the ranch salad dressing and put it in the bottom because I'm gonna put the pork chops on top of it, but I have like to have a layer just at the bottom here, and then I'm gonna put the pork chops on top of it. And here we go with the pork chops. Gonna take them out of the bag and put them right on top of the salad dressing, just right next to each other. Now, we have, I have another larger crock pot. You can probably put more than that in here. But for this one I'm using, I'm just gonna put two of them side by side. Okay, now it's ready for the cream of chicken soup. I usually spread it around on top and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables next. I can stretch out about four cans in this, and I usually, sometimes, if I think I need to add a little bit more, I'll put water in the cream of chicken soup and swish it around and then put it in there. Adds a little bit more, but here, it's just I'm gonna layer them and take up all four cans. Here I'm adding the onions, potatoes, and carrots. And I'm gonna go ahead and put another can on top of this. Like I said, I'm gonna layer it and then fill up the whole pot here. Just move them around. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. Just a little bit, not much. And here we go, I put the carrots on top and the rest of the seasoning. Usually I use one thing of seasoning, put it on the bottom and the top. I'm gonna to set the crock pot here on high and I will cook it for four hours. I've done two hours before, but the pork chops don't come out as soft. So here it's on high for four hours.
Okay, halfway through, and let's check it out. But don't lift that lid up, because you could set yourself back 30 minutes. And I've always heard the thing of, if you're looking, you're not cooking. So just check on it. Alrighty, here we go. We finally finished it. I'm going to take the top off and oh boy, look at that. Mmm, that looks good. Now I can tell you what, the carrots probably aren't done as much as I think they are on top, but we'll have to take a look and see. But that sure does look good. Four hours and we're done. And here we go. We're going to put it on a plate. Had to dig down and get that pork chop. But it's nice and tender, and it looks really good. Mmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think I learned something new every time. And with this one, the potatoes were too large. I only cut them in half. What I need to cut is cut them up a little thinner and put them in there. The carrots that I cut up, they were soft, and the larger ones, well, they were a little bit harder. I had some at the top too, so I think that's also why they were still hard. But anyways, the pork chop was very soft and tender, and it's always good cooking with a crock pot. And I hope you enjoyed it, and again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.